Alrighty, what is up fellas? Welcome to my review of the GearBest Bluetooth Audio, what is it, headset for your helmet. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope everybody got out to ride a little bit in between the rain, depending on where you're at. I know that there's been some rain going around. We're kind of out just cruising, getting a nice one in, and I wanted to uh, give you guys an update on the Bluetooth headset. So. Essentially, I was actually watching another Moto vlogger. I can't remember his name now. It's probably Jake the Snake or one of those bigger ones. And they had done a quick review on it, and it was $35. So I logged on or logged into GearBest and uh, ordered it. it. Took about two weeks to come in. It took a while to come in, actually. So it's kind of the downside of GearBest. But if you guys are looking for something that is cheap and gets the job done as far as I can tell so far that's exactly what it is it's cheap and it gets the job done the thing is is it's not just a little cheap either it's significantly cheaper than its competitors uh, even you know if you're looking at something I guess quote unquote high quality then of course Senna is the only option but if you're looking at a Senna even just base model getting in you're looking at 200 plus dollars which is just crazy and not something I really wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on uh, before I really figured out if it was something I was going to use. So I ordered it, it came in and basically it comes in a box that doesn't have any real branding on it other than Bluetooth headset. I, I can probably try to throw the, the model number up here for you guys but you'll see exactly what it is and I'll link it down in the description below. What I'm hoping I can get out of it of course is a an affiliate link with GearBest uh, because I am impressed enough with this product to say hey go pick it up install is pretty easy all you're gonna have to do is use the provided um, the provided velcro patches you're gonna have two for the ear pieces one for each side you're gonna have one for the mic piece and then you're going to have one for the actual device itself which sits on the side of your helmet now the other thing it does come with is a little extension to mount a battery pack with it however it doesn't come with a battery pack but that's going to be if you needed anything um, what would you call it anything in particular for like extended ride use now I don't have battery life for you guys just yet the winds blowing this way so we're gonna turn around so that we ride with the wind so you can hear me better um, there we go that's much better so you can basically extend it out and then measure it and then order yourself a battery bank as well to go ahead and put on the side of the helmet and then you can just have it plugged in through there and that should significantly increase battery life as far as the functionality on it, it does have a plus and minus button, which I thought was for volume, but by default right now on my phone at least, which is an LG V30 that I'm using right now, it skips songs. Well, at least as, as best as I can tell. I haven't figured out the volume portion yet. I don't know if I can go in and adjust macros or whatever to, to change that to volume up and down, because depending on where you're riding and if I'm motor vlogging etc I'd rather that just be volume and if there's a song I don't like oh well I'll wait it out this Spotify I'll, it's something that I like will come on eventually and usually it's every <laughs> every song because of the way Spotify works there's something I, it's at least something I listen to right I'm not that worried about skipping songs the other option is going to be the power button on the side and when you hit it uh, it'll basically turn blue now if you want to sync it up to a phone of course just go ahead and use the phone button to then get it to pair up and then you'll just open your phone go to your bluetooth settings connect to that device it's named something like bt dash so a number of some sort 32 or something like that and it connects right up at that point it works just like it would in your car or anything like that it's basically you know or another bluetooth headset if you have any experience with those you're going to be right at home 
the speakers that are supplied with it I don't know if you can replace it primarily because everything is through that one proprietary connector it doesn't seem to be a, a, a typical USB plug that I've seen before I'll try to figure out which one exactly it is and let you guys know now install like I said was easy and then as far as performance the mic is very good uh, as far as being able to speak clearly and I'll see if we can do a test to show you guys at some point but I multiple times had my significant other talking to her on the phone she said she could hear me perfectly clear while riding and that was awesome I could hear her perfectly clear while riding now some of that's also going to come down to your helmet quality the helmet I have this on is a bell uh, it's a pretty nice helmet and it, depending it is old it's probably ooh, dear lord five to seven years old but buy a good helmet you don't have to worry about it and I haven't wrecked uh, knock on wood there's no wood here but uh, I haven't ever wrecked with this helmet so I've also never wrecked actually a street bike ever so I don't I haven't had to replace a helmet because I haven't hit it or dropped it or did anything like that uh, so buy a good helmet it'll last you a long time as long as you take care of it you don't wreck moral of the story there so sound dampening is pretty good on it now the only thing that bugged me a little bit is it sits under these little uh, air vents that are on the uh, cheek pads and I don't know if I want to cut those out or not the only reason I really do want to cut it out is because unfortunately with them in there and my elephant ears my ear gets folded up and I can't do the typical like shake to get them to unfold so I have to like stick my fingers in there and unfold my ear flap <laughs> and uh, that's the, that's a big ear problem uh, I don't think that that would come down to necessarily the uh, device itself because they're pretty thin speakers I think if I cut that little extra padding out then it would be perfectly fine for me as well uh, if you want to basically do any Bluetooth functionality with your helmet and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money definitely check this product out I'll put links like I said earlier in the description below I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like me talking about the reviews while I ride and you think that that's a better way to do it then uh, hit the thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down let me know why of course if you hit the thumbs down uh, down uh, in the comment section below and I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get on a little bit more of a ride it's a beautiful day out and maybe we'll have some more vlogging stuff I did want to say I did figure out some issues with my uh, microphone so I think I fixed that it does seem like it's still a little too loud um, I can't I can turn it down to zero and it still peaks here and there so hopefully you know that'll resolve itself I think we're at like 20 now on there and, um, I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure 